Hi everybody and welcome back. Today Maria has been talking a lot about synergy and I don't know about you but uh, I like to see things in order to understand the information and for it to settle and stick. So I will try and show you what she meant uh, in Dropsmith. It is quite clear and I hope you will like the exercise. So I will filter uh, and search for essential oils with geranial because that's what she was talking about. Geranial, just a sec. And I will leave it from 0 to 100 to see which essential oils actually uh, contain this chemical component. So as you see we got quite a lot of essential oils. It's over 40 of them and some of them have very little geranial. So let's fix that. Look, let's search in the filter for, for example, only the oils over 10%. Okay, so we have less. We have only seven essential oils now. So let's choose, let's choose uh, lemongrass, uh, mei chang, and for example, this melissa here, because it's a little bit different. And let's look at them and their contents. So what we are looking at is essential oils that have a lot of geranial and how does that impact their blending. And here we have the lemongrass, the meichang, and the melissa. And we've already done this exercise using the compare function. So we'll just scroll down to the point and look at the um, here their chemical components. So geranial is a monoterpene aldehyde. So here it is. So you see lemongrass has almost 40, uh, Meichang has a little bit more, just a tiny bit, but Melissa has uh, 16, a little bit over 16%. So if we take a look, the biggest um, percentage is here with Meichang and it's just a tad over 40%. And let's scroll down to the average and what the average does is it takes an equal amount of all, all the oils in the comparison and um, and what would actually happen if we put uh, the exact amount of all three of them in a blend and see there some would be less than the highest amount so it's just a bit over 32 percent which is lower than 40 and that is what Maria was trying to say that if you example if you are adding lemongrass to melissa to add the geranial um, component you would actually be diluting lemongrass and getting less of that percentage in your blend and this is very nicely and simply seen um, in this presentation so this is if we would put an equal amount of um, lemongrass meichang and melissa but you might be thinking, okay, that's fair, but what if I would put more Mei Chang and Melissa, for example? So let's go back and blend them. So now we're back where we started. We have uh, the seven essential oils with over 10% of geranial, and this time we will blend them. So we'll take the same oils, we take the Mei Chang, we'll take the lemongrass, and we'll take this Melissa and let's blend them so as soon as you click blend you have the pop-up window so we can have this you can name it the geran geranial test um, description it's optional um, and let's say we're gonna use gonna use milliliters to be more exact so here you have units of measure you choose the one you like and I'll keep this blend private because it's just for uh, for testing purposes so I will add for example one drop of lemongrass and this is very cool right away it pops up uh, the the chemical composition you can get a just a bit of an idea how it looks like but we'll just add one melissa and let's say we want more meichang because we want that geranial to really stand out 
and let's put one more here so we put the least amount of melissa we put two lemongrass one melissa and let's say three mechang because you want that granule in there here you can search for another oil if you would like to add one but we will not do that today so i'm going to save this blend i have to write a little description i'll write test and then I'm gonna save my blend and this blend will show up in my dashboard so let's go to dashboard if you remember we're going to scroll down and look for my blends and there it is our geranial test so let's see what we got so here it tells me that I use two milliliters of lemongrass one milliliter of melissa and three milliliters of mechang and this is just a, a quick preview of what it would look like. So let's skip the properties and go straight to um, detailed report. Or you could have just scrolled down to detailed report. And this is the accurate um, composition if you would add up like we um, like we did here, two milliliters, one milliliter, and and uh, three milliliters. So it's a blend. And let's take a look our geranial and see again it's only 36 percent it's still less than 40 from the original uh, biggest percentage of the three oils so just to show that if you're going for that chemical component it's better just to simply use an essential oil a single essential oil that contains the biggest amount of that component if that is your goal to use geranial then you would just use mei cheng for example because if you would add anything else you would just dilute it but uh, synergy of of essential oils uh, the benefits of the synergy is in there um, in all the components that are in there the, the little ones as well so that's something to consider what was your goal was your goal the geranial or a certain effect maybe you wanted to use geranial because it's an analgesic well then you're in luck because you have a lot of other components that are analgesic as well so mm, that's what i wanted to show you with this video how you can use dropsmith to check out your synergy if it's if it's working for you or not um, it's a great simple way uh, very vivid uh, visual and uh, practical to check out if your synergy is actually going in the direction you wanted it to do so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you liked it and if you have any more questions we're going to answer them um, later on when we finish the whole um, course. We will send you an additional email with uh, answering all your questions. We need a little bit more time for that because there are so many of you. So thank you and have a lovely day ahead. Bye bye.